Our next story is about one of the busiest weekends in recent years for firefighters throughout Grant County. Reporter Joe Utter has more on what firefighters have been facing. Firefighters from across Grant County are coming off one of the busiest weeks for wildfires in recent years. Throughout the county, firefighters responded to at least 70 calls for outside fires during the 4th of July weekend alone, while firefighters were still on scene of the monument fire near Quincy. A second large wildfire sparked near Quincy late Saturday night, just a few miles away from the monument fire, forcing the evacuation of about 15 homes that were threatened. Firefighters from several Grant County fire districts had also just returned this week from the Sleepy Hollow fire in Wenatchee. In Afreda, Fire Chief Jeremy Burns said the department holds a 4th of July barbecue each year. That allows us to have our families with us and uh, members can then go out and respond much faster if we do have fireworks related fires or any fires for that matter. Burns said dry and windy conditions over the weekend caused small fires to spread quickly. And uh, the winds that we've had, we've always had a steady breeze through the base. In particular, 4th of July was extremely windy that evening and uh, really, really big fires, uh, a lot of fire movement. Uh, fires got big very quickly. We were able to move through the canyons and come down the hills at, you know, 30 miles an hour easily. So a lot of fuels, a lot of uh, fire in, in the path. Burns added it's important for communities to remember the majority of firefighters in Grant County are volunteers. A busy weekend for us. I think the main thing is, is uh, to remember that this community is supported by volunteer firefighters and all those individuals are taking time away from their family, uh, potentially time away from their jobs. And uh, when you add in their work with the volunteer fire department as well as their work with uh, their regular jobs, it, it ends up for a much busier weekend for them than uh, most people realize. Grant County Fire District 5 Captain Travis Sweeler said in his 20 years with the district, this 4th of July weekend was by far the busiest. District 5 alone had more than 30 calls for outside fires. Sweeler said firefighters are expected to have several small fires due to fireworks, but the dry conditions and the red flag warning that was issued over the weekend caused the fires to spread quick. A brush fire along SR-17 near Moses Lake burned about 30 acres and forced people to evacuate their homes. District 5 also had about a 60-acre fire along Road 8 northeast. Sweeler said the last few years the district has been better prepared for the 4th of July, strategically positioning fire trucks throughout the fire district where wildfires are likely to spark. Doing this allows firefighters to be on scene faster than having to go to the fire station before responding to a call. Sweeler, who responded with the Grant County strike team to the Sleepy Hollow fire in Wenatchee, said he wanted the fire district to be better prepared to contain a potential catastrophic fire. Grant County has already been under at least two red flag warnings this year, meaning conditions will cause any new fires to spread rapidly. Sweeler said this year's red flag warnings are happening earlier compared to other years. Uh, normally our red flag warning comes uh, in the July-ish, the later part of July, beginning of August. So right then, right there, it shows that you know, the, the fire behavior is going to be extreme. Wildfire conditions are expected to worsen throughout the summer in Grant County and across the state. Conditions now are comparable to usual conditions in late August, which is usually considered peak wildfire season. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. We'll be right back.